When we talk about equality of opportunities, what we mean is that uh, people's choices and, and opportunities in life shouldn't be uh, uh, determined by things that they have no control over. We really want to make sure that any child, regardless of where he or she is born, regardless of the ethnicity of his or her parents, um, has the same opportunity to get a good education, to have access to health care, to have access to basic services such as clean water. We think this is not just a question of, of fairness, it's also a question of good economic policy. The focus on opportunities is important because when we talk about inequality, we often end up what we mean are outcomes. But the problem with, with just focusing on outcomes is that you could say that people are rewarded for effort. And when you focus on opportunities, what you're saying is that you, you, you have a level playing field and then based on your effort and your talent, you may be earning different incomes while accessing the same opportunities. For the first time in the history of our organization, uh, we have a strategy that leverages the strengths of our entire organization and aligns all our work for a common purpose, to end extreme poverty by 2030 and to boost shared prosperity of the bottom 40% of the population in all developing countries. Shared prosperity is about focusing on the welfare of the less well-off. Countries usually measure what's happening to, um, uh, what, what's the performance in terms of econo in economic and social terms, looking at uh, GDP growth or average income growth. And a key point here is that we should not look at that average only. When we want to have a good assessment in terms of what's the performance of the country, we need to look at what's happening to the incomes of the less well-off. The spirit of the goals is actually a lot broader than just incomes. It's about many dimensions of welfare. Uh, that includes things such as access to education and access to, to health. Um, so in a, in a broad sense, uh, already what we're talking about is broadening the opportunities of the very bottom and of the, of the bottom 40%. There's just no way that you will eliminate extreme poverty if children born into poor rural families just don't have the, the opportunity set that will allow them to be productive, healthy adults earning decent incomes.